Rivera. I'm with Tom Zeber. He's in the house. We are going to go to LAX and uh, do some cop watching. And I want to thank everybody with, for the kind uh, comments. And we are going to let's just hang out today and see what we can get. I'm feeling better one day at a time. May came over last night. And uh, I'm feeling good. I'm a real strong person, man. I never give up. And uh, Tom should be here, out here momentarily. Hey, what's up, Wendy? Uh, what's that? That's Buddy. How you doing? And that's uh, Angela. I just stayed in school. What's up? How you doing, everybody? Yeah, we're uh, just coming out in a minute. And we are going to do some serious cop watching today. He's, Tom has been really good in my time of need. Um, I'm good. I'm good. And I made it was Ace Guy Hawk. May came over last night, and we, we had a good time together, you know. Uh, that's Fleck Dog. Hey, what's up? So I'm loving I'm loving life right now, you know. I, I got the pets for a moment. Got to keep the cats. Cats are very spiritual. I mean, it would be easy to get a place without my cats, you know. But uh, I got to have the cats, no matter what. Alfred in Canada. So we're waiting on the great Tom Zebra. He went in and he's trying to get his car out. And we all going to go to Venice and LAX to try to see if we can get. And uh, let me tell you something about Tom Zebra, man. The guy is uh, for real. He's uh, definitely for real, man. You always think you're alone. And then you get, you get a guy like him to let you know that, hey, man, everything's going to be okay. So, yeah, man. Love I still love this phone. This phone's amazing. <laughs> so we're waiting for the, the one and only Tom Zebra. Yeah, he just he just he just did a video of him at LAX with me, Pat Sultan. Oh no, I don't. That's not me. I don't pack guns. That is not me. I don't. I don't want no problems with the cops. Uh, period. Hey, what's up, Mexican video? Uh, what's up? Uh, one day at a time, man. Like like yourself, you, you take it in one day at a time, my friend. You know, and uh, I mean, you, you have to do it that way. You know, no matter what what life hits you with, you got to be able to take the punches and keep moving forward. And uh, I, I've learned that. He's a great guy. You know. Yeah, that's from a Rocky movie, man. Uh, um, Life will hit you harder than anything else, but you gotta be able to take the punches, take the hits, and keep on, keep moving forward. Take the hits and keep moving forward. My friend had cancer. He told me that line. I was like, wait a minute, that's the rocket line. There he is. Oh Yo, yeah, you definitely. Uh, this Tom Zebra, the one and only Tom Zebra. Your, your camera makes me look short. Well, you're not short, man. You're is uh, is anybody on Linux Boulevard? Maybe could give us come and give us a ride. I can't get. Um, I think. I think my landlord must have left again because he's not answering the door. So we're going to have to Uber or figure something I out. I got you. Um, this we got a shady spot to stand in. Oh, no, you got to have a shady spot to stand in, man. Mexican Padillo says hello. Hey, Mexican Padillo, what's up? I, got, I, got, I don't know if you guys realize, I've done, I've done several interviews with Tony. And every time I do an interview, I learn a little something more about him. Then I go on the internet and I do a little research and I read something more about him. And I'm starting to get a much bigger picture than I had before about how he's been pretty much screwed by seems like seems like uh, Mike Tyson any of these things that have happened to you the media like instead of covering the story they just like said some things about you that were not true oh that oh, the, the media lies man yeah, yeah but I mean a lot of times Mike Tyson would be the person they would do a hit piece on and then faced with you being a victim why would they why would they Try to make him out as a good guy when at that time everybody knew he, he was a bad guy. Because uh, a paparazzi, paparazzi always get a bad shape, you know. And then his kid died. Uh, yeah, I mean. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I, I like Mike Tyson a lot. I think he's a good guy now, but he wasn't. No, at, he wasn't. At the time he beat, the, beat you up, you didn't do, you know, you didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah, all you had to do was tell me to stop taping. I'm gonna stop. You know, but you know what's cool about him? I saw, I saw him like uh, six months ago, and I went the other way. He called me over. He hugged me. That's on, that's on my channel. We actually made up. I, I know. And if you look at the picture, you see him and his wife with huge smiles on their faces. You know, that's not for no reason. It's because you, because you were very nice, understanding, and, and 
probably forgive them instead of dragging them through court. You know what I mean? Like let them off easy. Well, but he, he paid a, a nice settlement, you know. But I, you know the whole thing with that. I could have got a whole lot of money, but I I, I just took the low number. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you were, you know, and people would probably make you out to be a person who um, who's looking for lawsuits when in fact you actually have a good lawsuit, and you and the guy could just say sorry and you let him off. Yeah. Uh, so like. The, you just were, I feel like you were assassinated in the media, and if you weren't, they didn't bother to cover the story that they should have told. But well, the original story was I followed him into the bathroom, and but he never went to the bathroom, did it? But yeah, and of course, I, and I don't have to, how are you? I don't even have to hear that. I know you don't follow people in the, in the, the bathroom no. with your camera. That's stupid. That's ridiculous. If you and I have had lunch, and, and uh, I, you told me the way you record the police and which kind of styles you appreciate, which ones you don't. That's how come I'm always careful when I'm with you and I make sure it's okay because I'm not going to be extra aggressive or doing anything stupid because I know that because I know that's not your style. Yeah, but don't change your style for me though. You know? Well, I'm just saying when I'm at the airport or whatever, you know, because um, you, you work there every day. So. Yeah, but uh, the, 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 uh, the video we shot the other day where the homeless guy was walking in and you got the guy at the top was telling we couldn't get in. Yeah. That was a great video because uh, you're keeping it real. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I like about that. The cop was an asshole. Yeah, you're telling the homeless guy you can't come to the airport, and you put him on check with that. Should we? We can. Do you want to take a, um, like an Uber to the airport? Okay. Do you have your scanner? I have my scanner in my, my backpack. I mean, that's. I always have my scanner. At least until um, that's better than nothing until I can get in my car. Right? Let's do it. Okay. So we're gonna walk this way, folks. I can't believe we got Mexican Badillo in the house. Is he in Texas? Oh, he lives in Texas, probably. He's actually, yeah, he's going to a lot of shit. Yeah. They keep, they Is he keep... still on house arrest? Yeah, I heard he has an uh, ankle break. Uh, yeah, that sucks. I mean, they're fucking with him. Yeah, that's messed up. But, you know, it was to put a target on you. They put a target on you. Yeah, but, I, I mean, I, I never, they never told me I couldn't leave my house. That's kind of fucked up. But, you know? But it must be tough looking to Texas, though. You know? Yeah. Yeah, he says he's on uh, house arrest. Is that just until... Um, I mean, he hasn't even been sentenced, right? That's just, that was part of his bail, which is ridiculous. Yeah, he's been arrested. I, I hear he's been arrested a few times. So I guess they have to get him, you know? I was arrested a few times. They never, you know, they just made me go to court all the time. They didn't make me stay in my house. Well, that's, that's kind of fucking, he has a family too to take care of, you know? Is he able to go to work? Are you able to go to work? We'll find out now. Let me see here. Tell, tri tell trial, yeah. He's just tell trial, he's under house arrest. Right. See if he, yeah, no, he can't work, man. He can't go to work. That's what he says. That's ridiculous. No, it is ridiculous, man. But they try to break you the system. It seems like. Yeah, that's. Um, you know what I mean? From what I understand, I supposedly it's a lot worse than Texas. Which I mean, that's what's pretty bad here, but. Um, well, Texas is tough, man. It, it hasn't been. For like a year, I haven't been. They haven't bothered me. I haven't had any court. You know, I haven't. You know, or is it? Maybe the previous ten years before that, I was constantly in court, and like I'm, it's like I'm finally free. Yeah, fine, but you know. Hey man, how are you? Right, right, right. You don't know what's gonna happen, though. Well, hopefully they're not gonna, you know, sign me back up for that stuff again. Although I, I have a warrant for my arrest in Las Vegas now from you kidding? from recording out there. So. You serious? Yeah. So what are you gonna do? You gonna take? You gonna take care of it? Maybe. Come on, maybe, maybe. maybe. Cause I, it, I mean, I can't take care of it from here. I, I think um, Stephen Stubbs is maybe gonna take care of it. Wow, man. Hopefully. What charge is it? It's a stupid um, rear tail light on a on a bicycle when the sun, the sun wasn't even all the way. You know, whatever. Um, it's just a hassle, you know. Like I don't think they really want me there, but by giving me court dates and stuff, yeah, they're making sure that I'm, I have to go back. But it's probably not going to be on their timetable. Well, I remember years ago we were chasing uh, Comrade Murray, the one who killed Michael Jackson, the doctor. So we worked that story for about a month in Vegas on Steakhouse. We, we, got, we finally got the guy, but we got a call that Pat, it was uh, Kim Kardashian and Reggie were coming in the airports. So we go over there, it's like 20 pop boxes there. The cops round us all up and go, hey guys, this is not LAX. If you guys stay here, we're gonna lock you up. We're gonna take your names down. This is Vegas, this is not LAX. I never got that shit, man. And, and so everyone cooperated? Fucking hey, but you know, we were, we, were, we were not there to work the airport. We just got a tip to go work, you know, Kim and Reggie yeah. when they were married, whatever. Um, but I can see how they can fuck with you over there, man. You know, they, they don't they don't follow the law. Yeah, well, sounds like Texas. Apparently, they don't follow the law in a lot of places, and they only do occasionally if it's convenient for them. 
I think, right? It's like LAX. LAX used to be the worst place to work, and, and, and until I start knowing my rights. So now they don't. They, they, they try, I mean, Christy, you. I saw that video. You riding that bicycle all through LA. That, that, that was that was amazing, man. What are you talking about? The video you riding your bicycle through the terminals. Remember? Oh, uh, that was I'm not sure which one. The one you just put up. You ride. You riding your bike through the terminals. Remember, Tom Bradley. You riding new people. Uh, not exactly. I'm not sure. You left the bar and you're riding. Oh, your bike. yeah, that. No, that, I remember that. That's yeah. hysterical, man. I, I don't think you actually seen. I, 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 mean, I mean, I have a video of it, but I, I shot it though. Remember? Well, just me driving when I. You don't, you oh, you're talking about inside. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about when I left. No, I didn't see that one. No, I'm scared <laughs> to see that one. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I thought you were talking about something else. Yeah, I remember that. Um. Yeah, we we might get something good today. I hope so. Well, I mean, I already got. I, I've got a lot of questions that I want to ask you, so even if we don't see the police, I already feel like I already... Yeah, we get the police and maybe a couple of celebrity videos would be nice, too. Sure. Yesterday, I got a phone call that Paris, Paris Hilton was leaving, but I had no desire to go to the airport. May came over last night and gave me a couple, gave me a couple hundred bucks for my rent. Okay. So she started coming around. I'm not using it for money, don't get me wrong, but uh, I guess she didn't care about me, you know? Yeah. I'm not very good at Mexican this. Video, he says, uh, Texas cops are crazy and out of control, but... We'll see them in court. And Tom Zeber emailed me. I have a good support in California that was your help. And my oh, I just seen I seen you. Um, I just seen you email this morning. I mean, I responded early this morning. You did? Yeah. Oh yeah. He said he sent you a um, email message with you. Yeah, I responded. Just stay strong. Uh, you're gonna be okay, man. I mean, I know you have a family and stuff, and uh, just, stay, just stay strong. Like me, I was like really depressed last night. Or telling my girl if, if, I, if I, I'm not going to be homeless because I'm not going to be around anymore. I didn't mean I was going to kill myself, but she took it like that, you know? And then I feel, I feel brand new. Please. <laughs> um, Is that somebody's name? Yeah. That's the town. <laughs> I don't know how to get this. Um, oh, wait, I found it. Okay, I got it. I was just. Which, um, which airline should I tell it? Oh, uh, well, I guess Thomas Bradley, right? But I guess, yeah, this, I, I guess it. It says, what, it says domestic airlines, American T4. Is that close enough? Uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get off at Terminal 1 and then, and then walk to the terminals. Okay, Terminal. How about, uh, is Alaska? No, one is good because uh, that's the beginning of the airport. It does, it's not giving me that option. Okay, wait. International Airlines? Uh, it don't say Terminal 1 or Terminal 2. No, it's, um, no. Uh, seven, uh, let's see, CGV News wants to, wants to cop watch with you. What's what? There's he wants to cop watch with you. Where does he live? Uh, I guess it's San Bell, uh, what's, uh, SGV News. What's that? San Gabriel Valley? Yeah, he wants to cop watch with you. Okay. Oh. San Gabriel Valley News first. Yeah, yeah, but who doesn't want to cop watch with you? You know. Um. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, I like I like going and uh, there's the sheriff. I like going and recording with people. Um. I usually like to go on a bicycle. Not everybody enjoys that as much as I do. Yeah, but that, that's got to be a, a better way to cop watch. It, well, it depends if you like it or not. Some people don't like it. Like, yeah. Like Laura doesn't particularly like to ride a bike. Um, you want, to ride, you want to ride bikes? I got a couple of bikes. You want to bring a bike up for you? Uh, see, see what I mean? <laughs> no, but no, but I have arthritis though. No. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna put uh, wow. Terminal Two. Okay. Because it's who's his name? <laughs> his name? Uh, Come on, you don't know him? <laughs> She's like a nice dog. <laughs> yeah, put your hand there. She's <laughs> big, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we have a ride coming in. Okay. Maybe you can't watch in New York. You will see. It says, if I can please, we can cop watch in New York. Well, Denisha will be here in four minutes. He wants, he wants to cop watch, you, cop watch you, with you in New York. I don't have, um. You know. SGB does? No, this is fuck the police. Oh, yeah. I don't know how I'm going to get to New York. Yeah, no, but, you know, that's. that's I mean, I want, I want to go. Uh, you know, travel across the country, but 
And that takes money, and I don't have it. Yeah, too bad, too bad we, we just can't hit the lottery, man. Yeah, Laura and I were, like, talking about trying to ask, you know, for, you know, trying to fundraise and, like, donate and do that, but... Yeah. I don't think it's actually going to work, like, you know, just because we ask, I don't think people are actually going to just send us money. Yeah, I got you. I mean, it's, it's worked that way before, I've asked, and it's worked that way before, but um, it's not consistent where I'm going to be out in the middle of nowhere. And, I got you. Um, and, yeah, I'm actually supposed to be back out. There's a couple places I'm supposed to be, and I'm, I don't know how I'm going to pull it off because I don't really have the money. So That's fucking sucks, man. Yeah. It's always, money is always the issue. Well, and when it wasn't, I didn't, uh, when I had money, you know when I had money in the bank from settlements? Yeah. I didn't really consider at that point I was having so much fun yeah, coming here. Yeah. I never considered like really going and doing somewhere else. You know? Yeah, that's all day. You, and, you know. and I've kinda of, I've worn it out around here, like you know, I pretty much get the same responses I'm gonna get from the same cops that I've met a thousand times. It's like you know, like I was recording this morning and, and they're just like waving at me yeah, across the that's, street. Yeah, yeah. So I mean it's that's fine, I still enjoy it, but it's different. Yeah, it's not probably very exciting for the viewers. It's like LAX. It's pretty much, you know, that. Yeah, you know, I know. I know what you're saying. It's like even in Venice, when I was doing Venice. I mean, some the new ones didn't know me, so the new the new ones would try to to get aggressive with me, and then figure out later on they look stupid. They look dumb on video. I thought it'd be good to go to Venice Beach today if we got a chance. That'd be nice. Um, maybe after LAX. Maybe we could still uh, hit Venice later. Okay, I'd love to. Because you might get lucky. What do you mean? Like, you might get a good, a, a good video oh, or something. Oh, at the airport? No, at uh, Venice. All right, maybe both. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm, sure, I'm sure there's stuff going on down there, right? There's a bunch of people. And... There's always something going on in Venice. Yeah. yeah. I missed it, man. I'd be laying down and I would hear, I would hear like, police helicopters like 2 in the morning. I got some of my best shit in Venice at night. You know? Yeah, like that. But yeah, man, that's deal, man. He's going through a lot of shit. Yeah. Um, and those those cops are kind of scary down there because they have that accent going, that southern accent. You always see those, those cops in the movies, man, with the accents. And they, always, they always try to railroad you. Yeah, I had... um. Case last for five years. You know, can you imagine going to court mm -hmm. for five years? That's awful. And at the at the beginning, they would make me come. They'd make me sit through morning session, and I would always be the only person that had to come back after lunch. And they'd make me go after all the custodies. You know, they'd make me sit there until they couldn't think of nothing better to do. And they would only only then finally take care of me like three in the afternoon. Yeah. Wow. But I guess they do that on purpose. Yeah, but then, but then I, eventually I started coming in extra days. You know, I figured, well, they didn't like me this much. I started coming on days, you know, I would come the day I wasn't scheduled and start spending time with That's them great. when they didn't expect me to be yeah. there. And then um, when I started spending more time with them than they wanted, then they started kicking me out first every time. I got they, you. They kicked me out first, and then I, you know, I guess we had a little bit of an understanding. You were playing with their head. Yeah. All right. Okay, Buck, we'll come back on and we hit LAX. Love you guys.